So at the moment it looks quite dark. We've got here early, but sunrise is in about 20 minutes. So it's best to get here early, get set up and get ready. So we're doing um, comparison test shot here with the leading 35mm camera against the Hasselblad H6100. We've got 0.9 graduated filter and a 0.9 ND filter on at the moment. On both cameras exactly the same, both same angle of view. To check focus on the 35mm camera, it required me to use two hands to zoom in and pan around the screen. On the Hasselblad, it was a simple double tap on the touch screen. This is the thing I like about medium format, is being able to see the picture so much more clearly and brightly through this big viewfinder compared to the small one there. So I have the Hasselblad shot on screen at the moment. And if we do a quick comparison between the 35mm shot, I think the colour fidelity on the medium format is far more accurate, far richer in colours, and uh, looks to me a greater reproduction of how the scene was visually. Let's zoom in on um, this area of cliffs in the distance. And let's match that zoom on the 35 millimeter. So immediately we can see the difference in sharpness on the two shots. I want to take a look at the shadow detail over in the rocks on the right hand side where we've got some very deep shadows. And I can see immediately some significant chromatic aberration on this post in the top of the shot here. So on the left, we can see that it's red, and on the right, we can see that it is green. Let's see if we've got the same on the uh, Hasselblad image. Uh, we don't. We have a small amount of chromatic aberration, but nowhere near the amount um, that was recorded on the 35 mil. Let's pull shadow detail right up to plus 100. So we can see the fissures in the rock and the chain um, on the 35mm the file, but it is very noisy and very grainy. Let's do the same on the Hasselblad shot. There we go. Much, much better result. Beautiful detail. As a matter of fact, that's very surprising. We've got significant detail pulled out from the medium format shot that actually still resolves quite smooth tonal range by comparison. So let's just have a look at that. There's the 35 mil and there's the medium format. So a much better result on the shadow detail acquired by the medium format camera. One final thing on this image is I want to have a look at the depth of field as well. Just bring that back down to zero. Just looking at general sharpness, bring this back down to zero. So the sharpness on the 35 millimeter looks good, but on the medium format, we can see that it is superior.
Again, if we just look at the overall image, remember both of these shots were taken at exactly the same time. If I zoom into an area of um, particular importance, just at the base of the pillars uh, here, based of base of the posts, I'm looking at the tonal range and the three dimensionality uh, that's been captured in these cobblestones. And we can see here, it's particularly detailed, particularly smooth tonal range, looks very lifelike, looks very three dimensional. Let's move over to the 35 millimeter format. And we can see in the 35 millimeter camera that it just doesn't have quite the same bite, the same life, the same three dimensionality that we've been able to uh, record in the medium format. Now, of course, you could spend some time uh, adjusting the contrast, adjusting the curves to enhance the 35 millimeter image, but you'll always be starting with uh, a slightly inferior quality image. So having the richer detail, shadow detail, greater dynamic range and smoother tonal range in the medium format puts us a long way ahead of the curve to begin with.